Hello class. Today we're going to talk about fill out a form and Google Translate. Fill out a form. What is fill out a form? Fill out. Fill out. So that's to write my information. So fill out is the same as write. I write my information. Fill out a form. What is a form? Form. This is a form. Here is an example of a form. So to fill out a form is to write on a paper. And a form is a paper that you get sometimes when you go to see a doctor or you go to the hospital and they want your information. They want to know what's your first name? What's your last name? What's your phone number? Or sometimes you go to a dentist and they want to know what's your first name? What's your last name? What's your date of birth? And they give you a paper and they say, here, fill out the form. Fill out the form. So here's a form and it is very complicated. A lot of English. I look at the form, I see first name, last name, okay, telephone number, date of birth, and then I see many things that I do not understand. It's a lot of English. So I can use my phone with Google Translate, the app Google Translate, to understand the form. And I'm going to show you how to use Google Translate to read a form. If you go to the doctor or the hospital or the dentist or school, immigration office, you can use Google Translate on your phone to read a form. Here is a form I have from a clinic in Roanoke. So you can see a lot of English. I understand first name, I understand last name. Mm, some things I don't understand. So I'm going to take my phone and open Google Translate. And here is Google Translate. I'm going to open Google Translate. And I'm going to choose my language. So many of my students speak Spanish. So I'm going to translate to Spanish. I have English, Spanish, and camera. Ah, so now I can use the camera to look at the form. And look, it's in Spanish. I can read the form in Spanish. So I can take a picture 
with my phone. I'm going to take a picture, a screenshot. Now I have a picture in my camera. So I can look at the form in English and look at the form in my language, in Spanish, or look in Arabic, or Swahili, or Vietnamese. I can look at my language on my phone. And now I can write my information. I can also listen. I can listen to the words on the form. And I want to listen to this question. I want to hear these questions. So here is English and Spanish. And I can touch the speaker to listen. Are you a United States veteran? Do you need an interpreter? What is your preferred language? Ah, I can listen in English and I can listen in my language, Spanish. Es usted un veterano de los Estados Unidos. Necesita un intérprete. ¿Cuál es tu idioma preferido? Ah, now I understand. And I can write the answers. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First, here are some words that I want you to know. Touch. Touch. T-O-U-C-H. Touch. This is touch. I touch my phone. Touch. Touch. So when I open Google Translate, I touch. I touch my phone. Touch. Choose. Choose. C H O O S E. Look at these two letters together. C H. C H sounds like ch ch ch. Touch also has C H. Touch. Touch. C H. Choose. Choose. What is choose? I want to give you a fruit. I have an apple and I have an orange. Do you want an orange or do you want an apple? Choose one. Choose an orange or an apple. What do you want? Apple? or orange. Orange? Okay, here you are. So you choose. You choose an orange or you choose an apple. Or for example, in the book, maybe we do an exercise. Circle yes or no. Choose one. Yes or no? So you choose this one or that one. Choose. Select. Select. S E L E C T. S sounds like s, 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 l, 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 
l s l k t so there's a c at the end k k and a t t select crazy english select 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 is the same as choose choose and select are the same. Do you want an orange or an apple? Select one. Orange? Okay, here you are. Do you want an orange or an apple? Choose one. Orange? Okay, here you are. So these are the same. Choose, select. So, for example, in my phone on Google Translate, I choose my language. I speak Arabic. So, in Google Translate, I choose Arabic. Or I select Arabic. Circle. Circle. C I R C L E Circle So the first letter is C C sounds like k k k Hmm Here it sounds like s s like s crazy English. So, C, I, here it sounds like s, sir, er, that's the R sound, er, sir, k. Now it sounds like k, k, sir, k, k, L, o, L, Circle, circle, circle. What is circle? This is a circle, circle. So same in your book. When you see an exercise. What household chores do you do? Read the sentences. Circle, yes or no? Ah, so I make a circle. So this is a circle. Arrow, arrow. A, R, R, O, W. A, A, it has an A sound. R, crazy. A, row, row. O is a O, O sound. A, row, A, row. What is an arrow? This is an arrow. Arrow. That is an arrow. This is an arrow. Arrow. This is an arrow. Arrow. So in your Google Translate app, you see an arrow that you touch to choose the translation. So that's arrow. There is an arrow in Google Translate. That's what this is, arrow. And then here, take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. So here is take, take, T. A, 
K-E, the E is silent, so the sound is take, 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 a screenshot, screen, S C R E E N. So this is an S sound, S, and then a C, K, K, S, K, R, R. Two E's together sound like E, E, N, N, screen, screen. This is a screen. The screen of my phone. Shot. Shot. S H together sounds like shh. That's S H. Shh. Ah. T. Shot. Take. A screenshot. What is take a screenshot? Well sometimes I use my phone to take a picture. Maybe I want to take a picture. Smile! I take a picture. Take a picture. So this is take a screenshot. Take a picture of my screen. And I will use Google Translate to show you how do you say take a screenshot in your language. How do you say take a screenshot in Spanish? So I'm going to put the words here. Tap or touch to enter text. Take, T-A-K-E, a screenshot, S-C-R-E-E-N-S-H-O-T. Ah. So English, take a screenshot, Spanish, tomar una captura de pantalla, tomar una captura de pantalla, so let's take a screenshot, take a picture of my screen. How do you say take a screenshot in Arabic? <laughs> So that's take a screenshot. How do you say take a screenshot in Vietnamese? Chuk man hing. Chuk man hing. Chuk man hing. Take a screenshot. How do you say take a screenshot? in Swahili. Whoa! Chukuapi... What? <laughs> wow. Chukuapi... Chukuapi I think that's right. Chukuapi Chukuapi <laughs> That's fun. Chukuapi Chayaskarini. Take a screenshot. How do you say take a screenshot in Haitian Creole? Take a screenshot? Hmm, I can't listen. Pran yon d? Maybe? Pran yon d? So that's take a screenshot. So remember, take a screenshot. Very good, very important because I can use it 
in Google Translate to take a picture of a form. So here is how to translate a form. Translate a form. Translate a form. Number one, open Google Translate. So I take my phone and here is Translate, the app. So I'm going to open it. Number two, select your language. Select. So remember, select. Do you want an orange or an apple? So now select your language. So here I have English and that's good. My form is in English. And then here I want to select my language. So I speak Arabic. So I'm going to touch that language and choose Arabic. I'm going to select Arabic. Number three, open camera. So you see here, this says camera, C-A-M-E-R-A, -E camera. So I'm going to touch camera. And now I can look at the translation. Ah, now I see Arabic. Okay. And then number four, take a screenshot. Now I have a screenshot. I can look at my screenshot on my phone. Here is the form in Arabic. Here is how to translate a form and listen. So maybe I can't read English. I don't understand. But maybe I can listen and understand. And you can use Google Translate to listen. So number one, open Google Translate. Open Google Translate. Here's Google Translate. Number two, select your language. Select your language. So I will select Vietnamese. Touch that language. And here is Vietnamese. Number three, open camera. So that's the same. So I see camera and I touch camera. Camera. So I can look at the form. Here's the form in Vietnamese. But now I'm going to do number four. Select scan. S C A N. Scan. Scan. Scan is like take a picture. Here 
it says scan. S C A N. Scan. I'm going to touch scan. Select scan. And now I can take a picture of the form in English. Here's a circle. Touch the circle. And that's to take a picture. Now I can select text. Now I select text. I select the words I want to listen to. So I can touch my screen like this. I can touch the words that I want to listen to. And I'm going to translate these questions. So now I want to do number seven. Touch the arrow. This is an arrow. And I want to touch the arrow. So look here on my screen. There is a little arrow. I will touch the arrow. And now I have English and Vietnamese. I can read the English. I can read the Vietnamese. Number eight, read and listen. Read, I can look and read the English and read Vietnamese. And I can listen. Are you a United States veteran? Do you need an interpreter? What is your preferred language? I can listen to Vietnamese. So I touch this little speaker next to the language. Bạn là cựu chiến binh Hoa Kỳ. Bạn có cần thông dịch viên không? Ngôn ngữ ưa thích của bạn là gì? Vietnamese. So I can listen in my language and I can listen in English. Pretty cool. So next class, we are going to look in the yellow book, in this book, at pages 72 and 73. And this is page 73. Page 73. I want you to practice with Google Translate on your phone. So first, on page 73, Number one, translate the form. Here's the form. Can you translate the form? So for example, I can take a screenshot and translate the form. I'm going to translate the form into my language, Japanese. I speak Japanese. So I'm going to choose Japanese. And now I can see Japanese. Now I took a picture and I have a picture in my phone. Here is my form in Japanese. Can you translate to your language? Next, I want you to translate the questions. So here are 
the questions on page 73. Maybe you understand the English. Maybe you don't understand the English. So translate the questions into your language. I'm going to translate them into my language, Japanese. So here are the questions on page 73. I can read them in Japanese. For the questions, I'm going to use scan. I want to listen to the questions. Scan is this button, scan. This is to take a picture. And now I'm going to take a picture. So I touch the circle to take a picture. And now I can select the words I want to translate. So I'm going to touch the questions. So here I have my questions, and now touch the arrow. And now I have English and Japanese, and I can listen. English. One, what is your first name? Two, what is your middle name? Three. In Japanese. Ichi, anata no na wa nan desu ka? Two, anata no middle name wa nan desu ka? So that's what I want you to try in your house. Can you translate the questions? Can you translate the form? And next class, we will practice with the forms to read a form, to write, to fill out a form. I will see you then. Bye.